Right, welcome back. We've got another video for Educast Greenfoot for the on-screen exam of component two. So, so far, we have done random movement for the fish, random movement for the shark, and we've got up, down, left and right arrow key movement for the crab. Now, the next job is going back to the crab. Now, what we need to do is, if it touches a fish or a shark, I think we're going to go for fish, I think is uh, probably the best one. When it touches a fish, what we need to do is we need our fish to disappear. Okay, so when the crab gets near a fish, it eats it, it collides with it. So what we need to do, it's really, really easy, is another if statement. Okay, so we've got if. Now, the control space, we're looking for something along the lines of is touching. So is touching and then we need to stick in a class name. So we've got fish dot class. Kelly brackets again. So if we're touching the fish, what we want to do is remove the object. So control space again. Remove touching fish dot class. And that's actually it. If I just compile and run again, if I touch a fish, you see, a bit hard to get them, but all the fish have been removed. Now Another thing that we need to be able to do is use a sound. So when we're touching the uh, fish, we need to sort of make some noise. Now this is usually, nine times out of ten, provided by the exam board. So if you look inside your uh, file I've given you, you see you've got images, and will have the images I've given you, and you've got sounds. So we've got something called pop. Now usually, it's an mp3 or a wav, so we've got pop dot Wow, okay. Close that. Go back to our code. We want green foot dot play sound and it was called pop dot wav. Just triple check that is the correct name. Yep, pop. Now compile the game. Run. Try and get the fish, and you should have played a sound. Just double check that, I'll stick my audio up just so you know what to check for when you're doing it. Again, pop, 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 got the audio done. That's another couple of marks. Now, if I just check the mark scheme for that, we've just got one mark for managing to remove the objects. We've got one for playing the sound. So, so far in these two tutorials we followed them, we've got six marks, seven marks, eight marks, nine marks, ten marks now. So now we are two thirds of the way to getting full marks for green foot. The next part we're going to look at in the next video is using a counter. Now there's going to be two ways of doing this, creating your own counter and using the one they've given you. If you enjoyed that and it helps, Please, by all means, like, share, subscribe. If you want to take another quick look at the code I've done, in case you want to screenshot that, code's on screen for you. But if you like that, like I said, get it shared, and hopefully this has already helped. See you in the next one.